everybody, happy Thursday. And when it's Thursday here, I've decided it's gonna be Thursday, like whatever the heck I wanna do. Sometimes it'll be coffee and a chat with me. If there's just a topic that has come up that I am frustrated about or I wanna talk about or something that you all have said, hey, let's talk about it, and I'm gonna talk about it. If I wanna do hangouts, they're gonna be on this day. If I wanna do FAQ like I'm gonna do today because I had a really good question that I really wanna talk about, they'll be on here too. And as always, I'll still talk about things in the media because if something's happening in our world, I think it's important that we talk about it, especially if it relates to mental health. So keep the ideas coming, keep the questions coming, and it will just kind of depend on how I feel that week as to what I do. Cool? If you like that, give it a thumbs up. It'll be kind of our way to explore more things for me to be kind of more creative potentially. I'll try my best and I think it will be really cool. So today's question is something that I get a lot of questions about and I've had this question for years and that's the funny thing but hearing it now I thought you know I should really talk about it and the question is I know this sounds crazy Katie but if my self-harming isn't hurting one else hurting anyone else why do I need to stop that's a great question if it's not hurting anybody but you why should you stop hmm now the truth of it is that it doesn't matter if it's hurting someone else we don't have to stop doing some things that we're doing just because it's only hurting us. We don't need to hurt ourselves. That's the key. And the fact that we're using the, the self-harm, whatever it may be, we could even say that we're using our shopping addiction. We're overeating, we're under eating. We're doing all sorts of different things to harm ourselves, but just because it's not hurting someone else doesn't mean that we're not important. That whole question just says to me, I'm not important. I can do whatever the hell I want to myself. I'm not important. And I'm here to tell you that you are important. And that the reason that we stop self-harming is because we're using it to cope with emotions, feelings, situations, and we're putting those things off. And yes, the self-harm helps for a minute, right? So we, any of us who use self-harm, you can, all my clients are like, yeah, but it helps. I'm like, for how long? And they'll always say, oh, for a little bit, and then the urges come back, right? Because the need to numb continues, and the need to zone out or whatever, squash down all the feelings, comes. it keeps coming back. And so what we're really doing is putting off the inevitable, which is being human, having feelings, being upset, having situations be really difficult and discouraging, instead of just pushing forward, processing through it, talking it out, and finding out that it's actually okay on the other side. That's why we need to stop doesn't matter if it's hurting someone else. I care that it's hurting you and it's stopping you from growing, from living your life. And we don't want to be 85 year old people still self-harming, right? We want to try to work through it. We want to be able to enjoy our lives. We don't want to miss it all because we're just too busy numbing out. And I think that is the key. And you're, you're free to disagree with me and be like, but it doesn't matter because I don't matter. But that just is self-loathing. That's that negative self-talk. We're caught in that nasty cycle. And I would encourage you, if we stop self-harming, those urges are going to come and we'll slip up from time to time. It's a process, not perfection. But you deserve the right to have a life, to feel feelings, to experience it for all its wonderful and terrible things because that's what it's all about. And I would encourage you, if you're not, see, to see a therapist or check out my free self-harm workbook that's on my website, katiemorton.com, and get the help you need and deserve because I care about you. I'm not worried about those other people. So please reach out for help. Please fight those urges because you're worth it. And I'll see you on Monday. Bye.